Now this watch, this one is crazy. This one is a two-in-one hybrid smartwatch with built-in earbuds inside. And that's a feature that I've never seen on any smartwatch. Now, in addition to that, you get a few sport modes, health features, and one of the softest straps that I ever had. Now guys, you clicked on this video just to see how crazy this watch actually is. So let's start with the earbuds and how they actually work. So on the bottom of the screen, or more or less on the bottom of your case, you have a little latch. So you can just open this one up and it will pull up all of your sensors with it. And right there you have your two earbuds. Now the watch charges your earbuds automatically as long as they are in the side. And on one of your watch faces, you even have a little metric or it displays how much battery life your earbuds have left. But we get to the watch faces later on in the video. Now you have to place your earbuds on the bottom of your case and close the display with the charging pin in order to make them fit inside the case and then charge them. Now, as for the earbuds themselves, I'm actually very, very surprised. You know, I have big problems with all kinds of earbuds since they always, and I mean always, fall out of my ears, but these ones actually feel very nice and they stick in my ear like glue. Now, they do look a little different than most of the earbuds. Now, they are not so wide and they are rather long, but overall still pretty tiny since they still have to fit inside of your smartwatch. Now the next step is that you not only have to connect your watch to your smartphone, but you also have to connect your earbuds to your smartphone. That works just as easy, but you just have to do an extra step. And as soon as you get them out of your watch case, they will automatically turn on and they will connect to your smartphone and you can just plug them in and listen to some music. Normally it's big smartwatches that have either a huge four inch display or just budget smartwatches in general, they're not very useful and not that practical. But these one right here, they are actually very good. Now, the biggest benefit is that you don't have to carry around a case with your extra earbuds around. So you have some extra room in your pocket or you don't have to have them in your pocket and they look a little weird if you know what I mean. And otherwise around, if you are women, you don't have to dig in your purse around just to find a little piece of earbud case. So that saves you some time as well. Now, I wanna say that they are very useful and practical, but they don't replace the benefit of offline music that we have with other smartwatches, such as the Apple Watch or the Samsung Galaxy Watch or the Fossil Watch. But they really are good. Now, if you liked the video up until now, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. It will help me tremendously in the YouTube algorithm. It only takes like two clicks, it's for free, and it will help me out a lot. All right, as I already mentioned, this watch is more than just a smartwatch with some built-in earbuds inside. But this one has a rather big 1.54 display with a resolution of 240 by 240 pixel. We get in glass lens and an aluminum alloy case and a pitch black silicon strap, which looks just awesome. This one looks just like the straps that we get with the Apple Watch 8 with the same closing mechanism and they are just as soft as they are. So a big crooked thumbs up for that. Now, the big difference between that watch, those straps, and the straps that we get with the Apple Watch is the quick release feature. Now, you know, Apple Watch straps, they only fit to Apple Watches, but these ones right here, they have the super normal quick release feature that we find on any normal smartwatch. So you can actually detach these one and put them on any of your other smartwatches. Now, even though we have earbuds inside of this watch, this watch is not even that thick with just 13.3 millimeters. And as for less, this watch is water and dust resistant IP67. Over here in Germany, you can already get this watch for just 75 euros. And for that price, you have seven days of battery life, even though if you really wanna use this watch, and depending on your usage, so if you wanna use the music feature, the earbuds, since the earbuds, they have to be charged with your smartwatch, so that will kill your battery life. And if you wanna do some sport modes, you only get like three days, but that's still great. Also something else that we get with this money is that we have five different watch faces to choose from with each different metrics and designs. But there's no way of adding any new watch faces to this watch. But at least you can select pictures from a gallery 
on your smartphone and use them as a background of your watch. Okay, let's talk a little bit about some more features. You get eight different sport modes, which covers running, walking, cycling, hiking, basketball, badminton, skipping, and ping pong, but that's all there is to it. No extra built-in GPS and no extra alerts during your workouts. Now, health feature-wise, this watch has a few things to offer. Now, we do have a heart rate tracker, blood pressure, SpO2 level, and a sleep tracker. The thing with the heart rate is that it will only track in 10 minute intervals or even longer, which is not that optimal for that purpose. Regarding the sleep, it will track your deep and light sleep, your time awake, and your average sleep duration. And even though I couldn't test the blood pressure tracker, it's still a budget smartwatch and I would really not trust this one that much. On this watch, you can also receive a bunch of notifications from WhatsApp, Instagram, email, YouTube, and a lot more. But keep in mind that you cannot reply to any of these messages. If you swipe down from your home screen, you get to your quick panel. Swiping right opens up a small sidebar with your recently opened apps and swiping left takes you to your app menu. Now, besides the features that I have already mentioned, we'll find a weather widget with a one day weather forecast the music player with some basic functions, and we can change the app layout to a grid or to a list layout. And the last thing for today is that we, once again, like with most budget smartwatches, we have a remote camera shutter. Now guys, that's already it for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.